This video is proudly sponsored by Oxide Hosting. With this hosting company, you can never go wrong. They provide outstanding customer support and all for a low price. Their services range from website hosting to Minecraft server hosting. If you are interested in them, be sure to check out the link in the description below. Hey, it's me, Dinsla Tree, and welcome back to another Menu Docs tutorial. In this tutorial, we're gonna create a configuration file for our bot. You can do it in two ways. The most common way is a JSON file, but for this tutorial series, I would like to use a .env file. And to use .env files with Java, a library was created called java.env. And the reason we want to use configuration files is because we we don't want to do this. So let's create a new file and call it .env. I'm not going to add this to GitHub, but I'm going to add this in my git ignore instead. So the file is ignored. I'm also going to create a .env.example. So the people uh, on GitHub have something to copy from. So uh, to use .env, we just need to co copy and paste this line in our file. Or at least if you're using Gradle, it's this file. Uh, if you're using Maven, it's this, of course. So let's paste this in and I'm going to format this real quick. Okay, as we can see, uh, we need to use .env.get instead of Java's system.getenv. This is because Java does not allow us to put something in the environment, but we can really easily do this. So let's go to our env file and create an entry called token. And of course we need the token that I reset in the previous episode. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it here. This token will be reset of course near the end. So to use .env we need to do .env.load. And because every time we call the load, it will load it. I want to use a static wrapper class around it so that we can easier use this. So I'm going to make a new Java class called config. I'm going to make a private static final dot m dot m and it, this is equal to dot m dot load and right now we're just gonna make a public static string get and this is a key and we return dot m dot get key what we've done what we've done right now is dot m full load our configuration and now we can access it and the reason we do this here is so, okay, this is Scotland. <laughs> but what it does, it will reload the configuration file and populate the internal map every time we call .load. So this way we only have to do it once. And because this class is, uh, and because we have a static method, we can just call config.get. So what we want to do in this case for our token, we want to do config.get token. And if we now run our bot, by the way, this is case sensitive. In an end file, you must always write the keys in uppercase because that's the convention for this. But also don't forget to use the get on the token. To make this in case sensitive, because I prefer token over token, we can just say key dot to uppercase. If you run it now, We can say menu.jda is ready. But cannot resolve symbol logger. Well, clearly you can. Okay, something is going wrong with IntelliJ uh, displaying the info. But what we want to do right now is have a convenient way to shut our bot down when it's running. For this, I'm going to make a new entry in our config and I'll make it owner underscore ID and owner underscore ID here as well. And the owner ID must be yourself. And to get this ID, you just want to right click yourself and copy ID. If you can't see copy ID, you want to go to user settings, appearance, and then hit uh, developer mode. And once that is enabled, you can copy ID, 
paste it in your config. And let's make real quick a shutdown command. Uh, let's also do a prefix. Which is exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Just to be easy. So, uh, I've, so I've added the prefix in the config. And to make sure we, have, we can create our first command. Um, we must uh, create a message listener. So in in that you can just do on gold message received. You could also do on message received, but the message received event will also trigger for the uh, private messages. So I prefer to using the split up events between gold message and private message. So what we can do right now is string prefix equals config dot get prefix and then we say if uh, I'll string raw event dot get message dot get content raw so if uh, free so if raw dot equals ignore case prefix plus shutdown and this is and and then and now comes the very important part and event dot get author dot get id equals Config dot get owner underscore id and normally you want to use longs for this but because dot env does not support that we have to use strings so next up we we can use a bot comments helper so bot comments dot shutdown and we can say event dot get JDA. Um, this will shut down all JDA connections and then shut down bot comments itself, so that our bot can gracefully exit. We can also say logger dot info shutting down. It looks like we forgot to call event dot get get JDA dot shutdown. Which I actually would expect this one to call. So let's do this again. We type the shutdown command. And as you can see, shutting down, finish with exit code 0, meaning a successful exit. So if you like this video, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time with another tutorial. Bye! <laughs>